What are your expectations for this program? Um, I think mostly how to handle and deal with artifacts and I guess properly display them and to store them and handle them, like I said. I feel like I don't belong. Oh, yeah. I'm Jane Robinson and I'm from the College of Worcester and I'm majoring in archaeology. And this was one of the few programs that I found that combines both conservation work and archaeological excavations. Um, I hope to gain the proper knowledge of different techniques to properly conserve materials and excavate them and to avoid any future destruction of um, cultural heritage. Hi, I'm Katie Snyder. I'm from Maine, North Carolina, and I'm studying art history and classics at Randolph College. My expectations of this program are to learn the techniques and the proper ways of um, conservation and restoration for um, any different earth, the um, materials that will be using for the institute. My name is Katie Taylor. I um, am a rising junior at Randolph College studying classics. I wanted to come with the program um, first last year because I really enjoyed my archaeology class with Dr. Stevens. I expect um, to get more experience um, working with the artifacts in the lab and um, especially um, I'm looking forward to the experience of excavating in Sardinia. Hi, I'm Kara Christenberry. I am from Peoria, Illinois and I'm a rising junior at Grove City College in Pennsylvania studying history. What are your expectations for the program? Definitely to learn more about how to work with artifacts and just to learn the basics of conservation and archaeology, which isn't something I can do in my school. I'm uh, Corey Davis I'm from the University of Lethbridge, and uh, I'm an archaeology student just finishing my fourth year. Uh, my expectations are that I'm going to actually be able to learn new material in something that's entirely applicable to my field of study. It's something that's largely underdeveloped, especially in Canada anyway, and it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to learn and to apply yourself in new areas. I'm Claire Sumner. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I'm a Museum Studies and Dance major at Randolph College and a rising junior. Well, I wanted to come back because I was actually here last year, partly because it's the most fun I've had in a while, and also because I want to solidify my skills and make sure that this is the career choice I'm looking for. I'm Meredith. Um, I'm from North Carolina, and I am a Classics major at Randolph College, and um, I want to do the archaeology tract. Well, I came here last year and I really liked it and um, I really wanted a hands-on experience with archaeology. What are your expectations for the program? I really liked my experience last year and I was really excited that they added um, the extra two weeks in Sardinia where we could do some excavation. Hi, I'm Tierney Dickinson and I'm a rising senior at Randolph College studying art history and classics. I came to the program in 2011 and so I wanted to come back this year and sort of experience everything again and also see the end of the project that I saw the beginning of back then. I'm really excited to come back and sort of learn new techniques on the sort of because we're doing something a little bit different than we started out with 
I, I really expect you to sort of learn new things and kind of build on the skills that we learned at the beginning. I'm Lynn Laufenberg, an associate professor of pre-modern history at Sweetbriar College. This experience will add to my future plans in helping me to develop workshop modules for my course on ancient through medieval building and resource allocation, urban development. You can see the stains of the fire that destroyed the house in the 6th century. This is uh, what remains of the glass strips around, around uh, the blocks. This is Andreina Kingdoms. I will give the floor to her to explain you what you will be doing. So this is... <laughs> a very beautiful stone. Try to, to imagine you walk down on top and we start to level like this to make a lot. Not always uh, it was good. <laughs> this, but uh, more or less. And this was the process. Now you you uh, you will work on the result.
doctor, and it shows the social standing of doctors in, it looks pretty modern, so recently, whatever um, time frame it is, because he has his <laughs> Oh, I think uh, there is an agreement. Thank you. So it is both, but now I will add Coca-Cola. Um, the fact that this, similar to the paper note, is in remarkable condition <laughs> is quite impressive, and actually there's still liquid in the bottom of it. So. <laughs> well, you we also see that it's recyclable. So clearly there was recycling technology and some environmental concern. And there's a barcode which reflects mass production. The challenge is when we have any kind of culture and page, we are doing this to provide to the public and other people the same emotion, the same knowledge that we have got from what we have excavated, what we have seen, what we have conserved. So it's a challenge between the will to conserve, and if I want to conserve this, I will hide it and put it in a safe. And if I want to distribute it, distribute the message, I will give it to the public. And this is what is called now preventive conservation. Try at the same time to increase the conservation, and to increase the communication. I'm very sad when I see most of the conservator restorers who only think conservation and never think uh, putting at the disposal of the public what they have conserved. What was your favorite thing that you learned? Definitely the marble techniques and how to carve marble. It's oddly harder and easier than I expected it to be, and I definitely have more respect for the Romans. I think the favorite thing that I learned was the immense amount of work that has to go into maintaining a site or a collection once it's been opened up. We are always drawn to the excitement of discovery. I discovered the excitement of preserving these materials. One of my favorite things that I learned while I was here was the process of creation of the frescoes and of the marbles. We got to do marble carving, we got to work on lime mortar, and I think knowing how things are created is the first step to knowing how to conserve them. My favorite thing that I learned was probably how much of an interaction there is between conservation and museum curating. Um, conservation is something you think of as applying only to or as applying to the artifacts only before they arrive at the museum, or I did anyway. But there's so much stuff that museum directors and curators can do to keep the artifacts and the arts intact and um, make them last longer so that more people can enjoy them. My favorite thing was probably just about conservation. Like I honestly have no idea what it was about and just how to do that and what the process is like and I really enjoyed realizing that that's something that I could actually learn to do and apply in different ways. My favorite thing that I learned was how to make the different types of mortar based on the different uses and how to um, make a fresco. My favorite thing that I learned um, was probably um, seeing how much planning and conservation work has to go into all the sites and the monuments that we're able to see. My favorite thing personally that I learned um, was from our lecture with Gael. He um, taught us about the reorganization of the storage departments in museums and how that's really a problem. Like their collections are not always very well taken care of when they're in storage. And so learning how to make sure that that's not a problem um, or how to fix it if it is a problem was my favorite thing that I learned. Well my, f well, my favorite thing that I was able to take from this course, coming from a field excavation background. I've been on four and it's huge to be able to realize how much more there is to both archaeology, uh, conservation, restoration, and any related fields. It's, it's great to realize how wide uh, and expansive these fields really are. My favorite thing that I learned about was open for restoration. 
I really liked the programs that they had with the children that got the children involved. Also the work that they did, um, the exception that they made for people with blindness, the panels that they put up in Braille, and how I loved how they let them actually touch the statues because that really like emphasized to me that the most important part about conservation is the transmission of the message of the artifact rather than just like the material itself because that is what makes it meaningful and that's why you can serve so that you can share it. So the rubber carving was still done uh, until recently with hand hammer and chisel and then the middle stages and final stages could be done with the hammer. Um, how did the Romans cut the mirrors? The Romans we know had water power saws. Right. Sorry, it's kind of beside me. You're not. You're supposed to interrupt me. Okay, I can do that. stories about like how culturally vers versatile and like flexible archaeologists have to be all the different all the different places that you go to and the compromises that you have to make with the public the course definitely more than fulfilled my expectations in terms of how many different materials and techniques I was able to use in the lab um, and learn about um, with marble and the fresco and stucco um, and in terms of how many um, sites we were able to see um, in Rome uh, Ray T, um, CC and Spoleto. We got to do a lot of lab work, which was really nice. We were really hands-on, and then um, in the mornings we had, you know, really good lectures, and we learned things, and we really like stayed on course and how conservation works, how restoration works, the processes, and um, we actually got to look at actual case studies. So like it's not just all in theory, but we actually saw it in practice as well. As always, the course has totally met my expectations and surpassed them. Um, he took extra time to talk about future career goals this year, which was really nice because that was one of my main goals in coming. So I think it all went really well. Being here gave me an incredible appreciation for the amount of technique that the students are being exposed to here and also a process of planning that I hadn't really fully appreciated before I arrived. I really feel like I've learned a lot and it's really valuable toward um, what I want to do which is museum studies and, and really enjoying that and learning how all of these disciplines interact and how important it is to conserve our cultural heritage and that's been really cool. I really loved when I came um, back in 2011 and I think it, it's even better now. Uh, we're only halfway through right now, we're going to Sardinia in two days to go on a dig and everything to this point has been amazing. It, there's really nothing like this course, absolutely nothing else. The course went above and beyond my expectations. We got to interact with so many elements of conservation, as well as all the museums we visited, all of the statuary that I cried over, and it was just, it was a phenomenal experience, and I'm so happy that I came. It was an experience and a chance to really expand my horizons and everyone's, I honestly believe. And it was a great opportunity not only to meet people in similar degrees and uh, I suppose interests, but it was a great chance to expand our knowledge base. This course greatly exceeded my expectations. Um, I was able to learn a lot about the principles of conservation and participate in hands-on work and gain a really valuable experience. How's your time in New Rome or Europe so far? I don't even remember. Yeah? What's your favorite part? Uh, yeah? Very <laughs> good.
Brooklyn. And with Okay, Katie, what about you? I like Excellent. Kara, what's your favorite part about Italy? Excellent. Claire, Dr. Stevens, what's your favorite part about Italy so far? Excellent. That's what I'm hearing a lot of. Excellent. Okay, Katie, what's your favorite part about Italy? Yeah. <laughs> 